All right, so this is the Insignia project. This is the replacement for the Xbox Live on the original Xbox. This was announced over two years ago and it's now starting to become available for closed beta. If you want to participate in that closed beta, you're going to need to type in your email address and hit submit. So on your modded Xbox, you're going to want to download the assistant tool. And if you're on a hard mod or a T-Sub, you're also going to need to download a modified BIOS that doesn't block Xbox Live. So you're going to want to save this default BXE. But for my organization purposes, I'm going to rename it Insignia. What I just downloaded is the setup tool that can be easily run from a modified Xbox. This will require you to have Microsoft Dashboard installed somewhere on your Xbox's hard drive. Alright, so if your Xbox was set up to run on a custom BIOS, somebody, I believe Rocky5 just put this out here. This is an old BIOS from way back in the day that he modified to uh, remove the Xbox Live blockage. So at this point you'll want to FTP over the assistant tool which is that default.bxe we downloaded earlier. Alright so this BIOS pack we downloaded comes with two BIOSes but I'm not sure what the difference is but I believe you can use either one of them if you're running a custom BIOS setup. I'm not going to go into specifics of how to flash a BIOS because not all mod chips are equal and I'm not real familiar on the process of the TSOB method but I'm just going to start my ended BIOS which is the Xbox Live friendly version. So whatever custom dashboard you're running you're going to want to go to network and have the network settings piggyback off the MS dashboard. Like I said earlier, you will need to have Microsoft dashboard installed somewhere on your hard drive. So now what you want to do is start the Insignia Assistant tool. So if you're using that patched ended BIOS, the troubleshooter is going to notice that the code is present, but it's going to be harmless anyways because it's been disabled. One thing I forgot to mention earlier, this will not work if your HDD key is all zeros. It needs to be all ones or the original factory default. So go to register Xbox. And I've already done this earlier, so it's going to return a message that I already registered. So now on Microsoft Dashboard, you're going to want to go to Settings. And then you're going to go to Network Settings. And you're going to want to go to DNS. And you're going to want to switch it to Manual, and once you set it to Manual, the primary should actually automatically populate itself with what the insignia tool injected. So the way this works is the primary DS is actually redirecting to a different server instead of the Microsoft Xbox.com domain. And now for the first time since 2010, you should have all four green check marks. So while the closed beta has not opened yet, you can still go to the account creation screen and see the insignia terms of service. And look at the gamer tag creation screen. Now the reason I didn't show this for non-modified consoles is because I don't own a stock Xbox.